Hi, and welcome to Master in Lightning Data Table in Salesforce LWC course. In this course, we are going to learn about every aspect of Lightning Data Table from basic to advanced, and we are going to implement it in Lightning Web Components. So let's kickstart your journey to level up as a Salesforce developer. As your course instructor, I would like to give a little introduction about myself. My name is Rahul Malhotra. I am working as an application engineer at Google. I am a blogger and YouTuber at SFDC's Top, where I add free tutorials to make complex topics in Salesforce easier for everyone, just like this one. I have also been a technical speaker at various international and national Salesforce conferences, as well as other global gatherings of Salesforce, including Salesforce Apex Hours, Cactus Force, SalesADX India, Dreamforce, India Dreamin, and Jaipur Developer Fest. Let's talk about who is this course for. This course is for you if you want to level up your skills in Salesforce development as we will be writing a lot of LWC code in this course. And every tutorial is going to be either writing LWC or Apex code or explanation of the code which we have written in the previous tutorial. Also, this course is for you if you have basic knowledge of LWC and JavaScript. This is because we will be jumping straight into implementing Lightning Data Table from scratch. We will be starting from the basics and we will be covering advanced concepts as well. So some familiarity about LWC like connected callback, calling Apex from LWC and basic JavaScript familiarity is expected. However, I will be explaining each and every line of code that we are going to write in detail so there is nothing to worry about. Last but not the least, if you are interested in hands-on coding and want to implement every aspect of Lightning Data Table from scratch in order to master it, then this course is for you. This is a full hands-on course with little to no theory as we are going to implement everything side by side as we discuss it. Now let's talk about our course curriculum before we dive into it. This course is divided into 15 sections. In the first 5 sections of the course, we are going to perform tasks like creating a basic data table from scratch, querying data from Salesforce and formatting it properly to show it in our data table, improving the look and feel of our Lighting Data Table, adding some row actions and applying sorting to our Lighting Data Table as well. You will see here that in the first five sections itself, we started from the very basics like having a static data table and we moved to advanced features like implementing sorting. If you ask me, I think this alone should solve about 50% of the use cases where you need to implement Lighting Data Table. In the next five sections, we will implement header actions to our Lighting Data Table using which we can filter records. We will apply infinite loading and fix it so that it works properly with applied filters as well. And finally, we will convert our static row actions into dynamic row actions. In the last 5 sections, we will learn how to implement our own custom cell in Lighting Data Table. Here, the level of complexity is increased even more. We will mimic the full functionality that we have in standard cells, for example, updating all the selected records in one go in case a change is done in our custom cell, which is a part of selected records. We will also apply validations to inline editing functionality and learn about having static or dynamic errors. Finally, we will end the course by learning a little bit about accessibility and saving our records to Salesforce when the records are updated by the user in Lightning Data Table. So, what are you waiting for? Let's begin our journey of mastering Lightning Data Table. I am super excited for this and I hope you are too. Let's begin.